Welcome back to the show. It was a hot day last week when our emergency ammo medical technicians picked up this great Dane Shepherd mix who was suffering from heat exhaustion, Perry. Right, Ashley, really, really typical condition this time of year. So when those EMTs got there, they saw all the signs of heat exhaustion, extremely bright red gums, heavy saliva, very, very heavy panting, elevated body temperature. They took him back to our Second Chance Animal Trauma Center, and they put some alcohol on those pads, put some cool compresses on his belly and his head, and his temperature came down. And here he is now available today for adoption. He is a very unique guy. He is like these cattle hole markings. He has a great Dane Shepherdy type looks. He is gangly. He is fun. He is rowdy. He is a great boy. He is Joaquin Stone. What a great name he has, too. He's going to be a really good guy. He's going to require some training, but he's very affectionate. He loves everybody. He wags his tail. He sees a ball right now. Look at those great ears. He's going to be a great family member for someone. Come on down and check out Joaquin Stone. Beautiful boy he is. In honor of HB 2494 going into effect next Wednesday, August 9th, the Arizona Humane Society is launching a hot car awareness campaign to help spread awareness and prevent kids and pets from being left in hot cars. You can pick up one of our window shades, which are available at any of our three petite locations, for just $5. There's more information about the campaign at azhumane.org forward slash no hot dogs AZ or on our Facebook page. Now, this little orange tabby is Rooney, and he is at the most active play period of his life, and Denise has some important tips for kitten owners to teach proper play. Denise? Right. Very important that we resist the urge to use our hands and feet as toys, especially when the kittens are very little, because we don't want that with big cats, right? So we want to always redirect them to a proper toy, like a feather toy or a crinkle ball or glitter balls. Um, it's very important that the toy moves across the cat's field of vision or away, so they're behaving like prey, something that the cat would pounce on because we want to encourage that hunting pouncing behavior. Rooney here, his favorite is the crinkle balls and he's actually also very interested in the other animals that are on the set today so he may want a friend when you come down to adopt him. Oh, well it's a puppy party and every week in the Arizona Humane Society hosts puppy parties for eight, pups ages eight weeks to six months old. It's a great way to help socialize your new canine pal with other dogs and people. Plus the nonstop fun really helps burn off steam during these summer months when it may be too hot to play outside. We provide a very safe and secure and clean space for fur babies, and it's free of charge or donation. And both of our Sunny Slope and our Nina Mason Pulliam campus for compassion. And Lisa, this little pup here, he would be a hit at the party. I have a feeling he's a real party animal. <laughs> This is Trotter. Trotter is a treeing walker hound puppy. He is 16 pounds and three months old. And as you can see, he could use to have some of his energy burned off. This big old wag, long tail never stops wagging. And those puppy parties really are a wonderful way to socialize puppies, teaches them around new people and other dogs, teaches them to be brave and learn to be good, healthy puppies. And so I really encourage you to take them. But this little guy is going to be a hiking, camping, adventurer. He follows his nose through the woods. So just be sure that you keep good tabs on him until he learns you're his people. Those puppies sure do grow up fast. Here's Finn, who was adopted. And now he, uh, he was just a few weeks old when he left the shelter. He is getting big very fast. He was adopted by a wonderful family. The Anatolian Shepherd enjoys going to dinner with his owners, and they say he, they love watching him play. They're so happy that they saved him. They couldn't imagine a day without Finn. Now, uh, we have a long-eared friend for you to meet. He's, she's a very sweet, pretty rabbit. Uh, Perry, tell us about Sasha. Uh, Sasha is a good one. She's four years young, and uh, unlike Stuart, the little mouse we had up here a little while ago, this is not a rodent. This is a lagomorph. They're kind of a species in them and of their own, these little rapid guys right here. But their care is, again, very similar. You're talking about a larger animal, but an enclosure, a very large enclosure with a nice solid bottom to it, plenty of water, and lots of good rabbit foods like gourmet rabbit food. And you can, again, supplement that with things like vegetables, fruits. Uh, they love kale. They love spinach, cilantro. All that stuff is really, really good for them. These guys love to be held. They definitely don't like sometimes the really high heights. So on your lap, on the ground is where they love to be like this. They are oh so soft. They make great pets. Come on down and add a rabbit to your life. This is Sasha. They make great companions. All right, well, stay with us. These two comrades and more adoptable pets when we come back. <laughs> 